Hello everybody, my name is Badger Show, and we got some more Persona 5 news. So, we're here on Silicon Nera. Uh, the link will be in the description below if you guys want to read it yourself. But you guys can see it. Persona 5 Director on its voluminous, voluminous, I don't know, content characters in its social link system. So, social link, I have not read this, but I'm guessing from the title, social link is coming back. And if you guys remember from the trailer, either from the first or second trailer, cooperation, cooperation. That's most likely the social link. We don't know, but hopefully in this article it'll tell us. So let's see here. Uh, let's scroll down. Series chief director Katsura Hashino recently shared the latest, latest on the development of Persona 5 in the March 2016 issue of Persona Magazine. I'm not sure if I said that in the news video on Sunday, but there's a Persona magazine. Uh, key notes from the interview, Persona 4 got a bunch of extra content added to Persona 4 Gold, and as a result of not comprising with the volume, it was a lot of work. That said, Persona 5 has some truly gorgeous content. Please. Dungeons and level design will be very different when compared to the past titles, of course, because look from the trailer, just like how open the dungeons were, that's amazing. There are things that make them all different and each dungeon will be thoroughly enjoyable. Well, hopefully, hopefully there's not, you know, like any, any annoying ones, like, you know, Yiko's Castle, all that. Yeah. Thanks to having a bit of stereotypical themes with <laughs> Phantom Thief, it made it possible to be able to push in work that will surprise the players. From there, they'll looking to mix in contemporary drama with the likeness of Persona to create something that can express the fun and entertainment. Fun of entertainment, but. Ooh. Alice, please. Don't, don't hide this up for me. To disappoint me. You have not disappointed me yet. So far. Well, I I'm, well, Conception kind of disappointed, but it's not made by Alice, it was developed by Alice, it's created by Chun Spike Chunsaw. Yeah, that. The reason the stage is set in Tokyo so that they can push the idea of having an amazing fan thief drama play out in the world we know, okay? Most of the characters in the game are labeled judge and are living unfortunate everyday lives that have no escape. Rising up and breaking out of such situations is what you'll see as you move forward in the game. And they kind of say that in like um, previous interviews, like um, they they have horrible lives, like judge. Like I think like like people were like I'm not, I don't remember it that much, but I think like some people were making fun of Anne because. I think she's like a foreigner or something like that. I don't remember the quote on that. <laughs> and uh, of course, we got the characters. We got Yuji, Captain Kid, uh, and with Carmen, I believe. Morgana with Zoro. Yusuke with Goemon, I think. I think. I'm, I'm not sure. All in the room. Remember why I searched that from a few months ago was like the character was saying he has an anime or something like that. Oh, yeah, the description of the characters. <laughs> but Yuji Sakamoto, he's wants to say, let's change the world, and basically, like a uh, Junpei or Yosuke, and pull the protagonist. It's because of Yuji that the protagonist begins his life as a fan of thieves. Kind of like with Yosuke, like, oh, let's head into the TV world, come on, partner. He may be defiant, kind of like Yosuke, but he's a nice guy, kind of like Yosuke. <laughs> For this reason, voice actor Mamuro Miyano is a good fit. His persona Captain Kid is a good fit with Ryuji's setting and episode. Episode? Yeah. Oh, about Maki and... Takamaki. Okay, so so her whole name is Maki and Tam Takamaki. It's not just Anne. But 
I'm pretty sure like if it comes over here it's either just Anne or Maki. One of those two. She's a quarter American. Hey, America! <laughs> Girl who returned to Japan. While she may be popular, she doesn't have any friends. Because, you know, foreign or whatever. And is a character that looks like she may stand out among her peers, but she's actually isolated and lonely. When she joins the party, she takes on the role of the life of the party. Well, it's kind of obvious from the character, she, she looks like life of the party. Persona Carmen has a firm fate of fatal side of her to her, and due to a certain incident, they join the protagonist in Yuji to take on the other world. That said, she's a character that will have an impact on the fate of the main character. Hmm. And um, when it says, you know, due to a certain incident, you seen from the, I think, the TGS trailer, like, um, uh, her her persona basically awakens. She you know she ripped off her mask while she was wearing her you know school clothes. I think that was it. So I'm guessing that's the incident. Morgana. Now there's a character, the Teddy of the series, uh, Persona Five. Morgana is similar to Persona Four's Teddy, uh, <laughs> and will in the and will help in the navigation of the other world. She's been working in the in the family thief business since before due to certain reasons and will raise the protagonists and friends as popular or proper fan thieves. Morgana takes the appearance of a regular a reg <laughs> a regular cat in the real world. Oh so so we um you guys don't know you can actually see Morgana in uh, in some of the trailers in the protagonist's backpack. And uh, another trailer well not really a trailer but there's a clip where uh where the protagonist is playing some kind of fun magic game and you see Morgana there. But Hashimoto will keep the reason for that as a surprise for now. And maybe <laughs> she'll turn into a human like Teddy. Her persona Zora is actually Morgana's admired form since she's a little and oh, since she's little and is often called out with Hey Cat, her persona shows an ideal matcha form. Hmm. And now for Yusuke Kadigawa. An eccentric character, but you might sense a different charm from him than you get from his illustration appearance. He's a talented artist and is an art honor student in art. Don't say anything about his persona though. Hmm. It will be a similar system to Social Link, with the question of how to, commu how to make communication for the character of Persona 5 into a driving force. Hashimo, as you know, got these Japanese things, uh, helps see it go, go step high in the human relations part of things than what we saw in the Social Link of Persona 3 and Persona 4. Sorry about that, uh, but uh, like I was saying, uh, yeah, Social Link. It's basically the co cooperation the trailer you saw. It's like similar to Social Link. So, uh, I, want, I wonder what's going to be different about this. You know, like, um, maybe, like, including to talking to them, we have to do, like, some activities with them to make it more interactive, you know? Instead of just, you know, talking to them and all that, you can actually do some stuff. And lastly, heading into Persona's 20th anniversary. Wow, I didn't even know that. 20. Hashino hopes that they hopes they can make an announcement to please the fans, but hopes everyone looks forward to Persona 5 first. Oh, I need Persona 5 in my life. <laughs> Persona 5 is expected to release summer 2016 in Japan for PS4 and PS3. Sometime later in 2016 for North America and don't know anything about Europe. Europe always gets a bad side of, you know, Atlas games. They need to make an Atlas of Europe, like seriously. If they did, I don't, I, I don't even know. <laughs> but Atlas, you gotta support your Europe, your Europe, your European fans, your UK fans, all those fans, man. Yeah. I didn't even know it was coming 20, 20th, 20 an anniversary. Like, I'm turning 20 this year, like, uh, so they came out the same year, oh boy, 
So that that's a lot of, you know, stuff to take in. Like, what do you guys think about all this information? Like, like the social game kinda changing, the characters, all the content that we're gonna be getting. Well, we haven't gotten much detail into the content of it, but it's coming. It's coming soon. For Japan and I'm not sure if I'm gonna watch Japanese let's play on Japanese let's plays on those. Like, I haven't been watching really Let's Plays really, like, recently, like, it's mainly because, like, I might be getting those games, so, like, might as well not watch it, don't spoil it, so I can play it for myself, but hey, that's just me. So, like I said, uh, what do you guys think about this? Tell me in the comment section below. Of course, I'll leave the article in the description if you guys want to read for yourself and share with other people. And I like to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, favorite, share with all your friends. Check the links in the description below. Down there. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Power out. Yeah. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. I also have other videos too, so check them out.